How many rolls of toilet paper would it take to reach the moon? Maybe you've thought about how far away the moon is, and how insignificantly small we are, and needed something to frame your reference. After all, the moon is unfathomably far away, and why not use toilet paper as measuring tape? So how much TP would it take to reach the moon? How much would that all cost? And what would happen to it all after we put it up there? Let's find out. Although there are a staggering number of toilet paper brands, let's focus in on one in particular. As a broke college student myself, I tend to use the high quality, premium, great value brand. A one-ply bath tissue made of sawdust and children's tears, what better way to reach the moon? If we are to believe the big number on the container, there are 1,000 sheets per roll, and each sheet is 4.1 inches long, meaning that each roll of toilet paper would get you 342 feet closer to the moon. By extension, each 12-pack would get you a little more than three-quarters of a mile towards your destination. The moon, of course, is really, really far away. Space.com states that the moon orbits between 225,623 and 252,088 miles away from the Earth. To give ourselves a fighting chance, we're going to use the closest value we can get, 225,623 miles, meaning that it would take 175,000 packs to get to the moon, or 2.1 million rolls of toilet paper. At $6.84 a pack, buying that much toilet paper would cost you $1.2 million. Unfortunately, Walmart won't let me order online in quantities larger than 100, an issue they should promptly fix if they want my business. So let's talk about how much toilet paper we're going to need for a second. Are 2.1 million rolls a lot? Linda Rodriguez wrote in an article on Mental Floss that each American uses an average of 57 squares of toilet paper a day. Using this value means that the average American would take about 101,000 years in order to use up 2 million rolls. Putting the whole nation towards this valued goal, however, would use up all that toilet paper in only 2 hours and 42 minutes. So the next time you go to the bathroom, revel in the fact that you, along with millions of other people, are helping us get a few feet closer to our celestial neighbor. Now, assuming that we find a way to get that toilet paper up there, what would happen to it? Although research on toilet paper in space is lacking, it is safe to assume that the long chain of toilet paper would break fairly quickly. Even the most ultra-strong of bath tissues would quickly break up due to the sheer weight of the toilet paper rope pulling on itself. 473 US tons of toilet paper would have to go somewhere, and that somewhere would depend on something called the first Lagrangian point, or L1. The Lagrangian points are a series of five points between two orbiting bodies. Though they have some pretty neat consequences, all we need to know for our purposes is that L1 marks the point where our toilet paper goes from falling towards the Earth to falling towards the Moon. That distance is 202.6 thousand miles from the Earth, about 90% of the weight of the Moon. Logically then, about 90% of the bath tissue would fall back towards the Earth, and the other 10%, 43 metric tons of it, would land on the Moon. Since the moon has been declared unownable since 1967, nobody will have the authority to fine you for littering, and nobody will be held responsible for cleaning up your mess. So sit back and relish in the thought that your mountain of litter will remain on the moon for the foreseeable future.